Back on the Chamber Report, time now for that segment you like the best. It's Member Profiles, a chance for you to find out who some of the many members of the Yanoka Area Chamber of Commerce are. You're going to love this one. I love this place. Every time I go and pop over, I always find something new, and it's just a very positive place, and it's a place that you're going to find out about right now. Susan Yee is with us. She is with Rum River Art Center. For us old Anoka people, it's in the old uh, milk factory in Anoka. It's uh, right on the corner of 4th. North Avenue North and Pleasant Avenue, so it's right on the beautiful Rum River. But more importantly, there's just some great stuff going on there. Susan, welcome back to the show. Well, hi, Pete. How are you? You looking great? Thank you. I am good, and we're going to talk about stuff coming up. Uh, but first, kind of give everybody an overview about what Rum River Arts Center is. Well, you know, we started the Rum River Arts Center in 2012, and what it is, it's a community art center. It's for the people in the North Metro. We offer all kinds of classes, whether it's homeschool, after school. Uh, we partner in with other local businesses mm -hmm. and things like the library, senior centers, all kinds of different art classes. Young and old. Young and from, we just started one of our new programs yeah. was pre-K, so three-year-olds okay. up to like 103. All right, perfect. You are a nonprofit. <laughs> we are a 501c3 nonprofit and I'm happy to say that by the time this airs, uh, it's the gift to the max day and we will have achieved our goal thanks to the community. Great. Now, we are going to see if you want to help. We're going to give you the opportunity because they're always looking. There's always things going on there, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. First, I want to talk about what's going on. We've got December. we got January coming up. Don't want to get too far off, but what's going on this month at Rum River Arts Center? Well, what's wonderful is in December, we turn our art gallery into a show and shop. So all we do is feature local artists oh. and you can buy their artwork, whether let's say it's a potter and you're going to buy handmade coffee cups. Mm. I mean, who doesn't need a coffee cup in the winter or hot cocoa cup? Right. We're going to have acrylic painting, watercolor painting. We have weavers, so maybe you need new placemats or a beautiful rug to put on the floor. And everything that we sell in there is all made by artists in your community or from teachers that teach at the Art Center. Talk to me about price range. I mean, is this expensive stuff? Is it somebody could walk in like maybe a, a guy like me that's got a fiber in his pocket? It's going to start out at $5. Oh, all right, so I could so get some. You could absolutely. Okay, great. Uh, wow, so how would people find out about ours and when they could come and, and, and browse? Well, you know, you can always, number one, we're always at the Art Center. Yeah. But you can always come, go to rumriverart.com and it will tell you our hours. You can always call us at 763-323-8830 or you can just stop by. Okay. Chances are we're open. Great. So any classes, anything going on in December as well, or is it just shopping? You know, we have the shopping, but we also have a few classes. So let's say your kids are off on school break. We have some single day classes. You want to get them out of the house. We have anime classes. We have wheel, th wheel throwing classes. We have gingerbread house classes, painting mm. classes, and it can be a one day, uh, you know, three hour class. So plenty break of mom, opportunity. Break for mom, dad, more importantly, uh, um, something for the kid to do yes that's positive stuff and something for the adult to do hey you know those gingerbread houses aren't just a kid thing i mean if you want to get into it and get competitive trust me they'll be able to cover you at rum river art center all right now holidays are over we're into january what's happening well the beauty is we're still doing virtual classes and we're doing in-person classes and outreach classes so you have your choice come in stay at home etc we have our Vitality art classes, some new ones coming up in January, and that's for the 55 plus. Mm. We have some new classes that we're offering, for example, urban art sketchbook classes, and it's an observational drawing class. We have more acrylic and watercolor paint classes, and those are, not only do we have beginning, we're offering intermediate and advanced classes, and it's the same with our hand belt pottery and our wheel throwing pottery. We're one of the few places in the North Metro that offers wheel throwing. Yeah, and, and I've, it's yeah, and I've seen them, and they got more than one. They got quite a few, in fact. Now, I just want everybody out there to get this straight. You do not have to be a Michelangelo to be involved at Rum River Arts Center. If they don't. That's not what it's about. It's about exploring what art is and enjoying art. And that is every individual's right to do it, but more importantly, just to do it. They, there's no judging, there's no nothing. It's an opportunity for you to try something. You're like, hey, I've never watercolored before. Well, guess what? 
You'll learn how to do it, and that's what the people at Rum River Art Center care about. Susan, it's not about some contest and, and some art gallery where this it, stuff's going it, up. Exactly, you know, it's as Larry, the uh, co-founder, it's all the process, and it's making sure you're enjoying what you're doing, you're having fun. It isn't a competition. No. You're not looking at the person next to you saying, oh, look at what they did compared to me. Right. It's to have fun and enjoy, and it, it just puts you in that beautiful, creative yeah. mindset. You know what, and if you stop learning, you're in trouble. You never stop learning, whether you're that kid who's three or that person who's 103, Remember, art's a place where you can uh, explore some of those things that you might want to do. All right, new programs coming up as we look to 22. Yeah, one of the new things that I'm excited about is we're going to start an art lending program. So if you have a local mm. business out there, Chamber of yeah. Commerce, you have an empty wall, we are going to offer uh, art pieces that you can hang in your office for three months at a time. And not only is this helping your business by having some beautiful artwork to look mm -hmm. at, it's helping that local artist so their artwork can be seen. I think that's one of the biggest things when, it, when you are an artist is, where am I gonna put my work? Yeah, my family tells me they love it. Yeah, yeah, I can hang it in my den. But I want other people to see it. And I think that gives them that satisfaction. And you're helping each other, the local business and the artist. It's a oh, great combination. That's a great idea, and obviously Chamber's going to help you get the word out on that, and we'll talk about that later. Yoga and free community art class. Yes, and I'm excited because I believe Cole's here today with the Anoka Ship Program, mm -hmm. and we're hoping to partner in with that because not only are we an art center, we're a community center. And so one of the programs that we're going to be offering is yoga and community art together. That's so great. you can come and take a yoga class for the physical aspect, and then after you get to an art class for the creative process, and it all goes hand in hand. It is, what a fit. All right, oh, somebody out there is interested, Susan. <laughs> I can see it right now. How do they get a hold of you guys if they've got questions about anything, and or if you are a lover of art and you can help? They're always looking for volunteers. Always. Always looking for any donations that can always. come <laughs> to help the cause. How would anybody out there, either looking for class stuff or maybe want to help the cause, get a hold of you folks? Well, of course, they can either call us at 763-323-8830 or com, or come on by. We love people to come and see the Art Center and see what we're all about. Yes, Susan Yee, she's got a little energy, doesn't she? She lives and breathes Rum River Art Center. Both her and her husband have a passion for what's going on there, and you can feel it, and you'll see it when you go out there. Just do a walkthrough. Trust me, you're going to like what you see. All right, we're taking a break, and we come back. We will continue with member profiles right after this.